Now, Ben, when people have been going for a run or a ride and they put it on the GPS, we can all see how far they went, how quickly they did it. You decided to use this sort of work backwards and mark out a trail that would come out in the shape of a goat and then follow it. Now, that sounds hard enough to plan, but in execution, did you hit a few gravel roads or dead ends? Uh, it wasn't too hard. Um, it was a bit of a mission to plan it out, but it's, it's basically just like drawing a really complicated dot-to-dot drawing that you do when you're a kid. But, uh, yeah, we sort of had a bit of a look at it before we got there, and there wasn't too many uh, too many dodgy roads we had to go on. There was a lot of doubling back um, to make some of the, the detail on the uh, the picture that we drew, though. So, Ben, look, you are a part of uh, Fight Club Racing Bike Club, so that, that may mean that you're not allowed to speak about this. But... Um, <laughs> The image of the goat, all things goat. Why? What? What? What is it about goats that attracted you to this? Ah, oh, I don't know. It's a pretty cool animal, I guess. Yeah, you know, they're interesting. Well, and, they're um... all right, mate. I mean, let's not let's not <laughs> go to town here. I mean, you know, I haven't met too many goats with a great personality myself. But, <laughs> but maybe a giraffe was just the, doing yeah, that long was neck too was much. too long a straight, quite boring to mm. ride. Yeah, exactly. I don't know. There's there's something about the uh, I don't know, the attitude of a goat, maybe that that we like. Um, Fair enough. That, uh, that sort of. Uh, fits in with the ethos of, uh, of the club, maybe. So you did this in a bit of a relay, so you didn't have to ride the whole lot yourself, is that right? Oh, no, no, we did it all. Oh, you all uh, went together. Yeah, so four of us went out together and uh, and rode, it, rode the whole thing, all 203 Ks. Mm. Um, but uh, you know, as anyone who's watched you know, the Tour de France or any sort of cycling races, not that we're you know, putting ourselves on that level, but uh, <laughs> you get in behind your mates and you get pulled along, it makes it a lot easier. And for me, the most, well, the annoying bit would have been, you know, it's great, pick an image, work it out on your GPS. It's a great way to get fit and keep it fun. But things like the mouth, where you have to go up and then backtrack along the road that you've already taken, that would annoy me. Yeah, that annoyed us as well. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah we uh, we ended up doing probably a dozen or maybe more of those. And yeah, riding down the same road a couple of times got pretty old after a while. But um, you know, that was sort of the whole idea behind doing it. You know, it was doing something different. Hey, Jonesy, where does it go next, mate? Are you thinking about a woolly mammoth? <laughs> well, we've talked about a few different things, you know, because we're in Perth, obviously we've thought about, you know, numbat or a quokka or something mm. like that. But in the spirit of goat puns, which there's been a hell of a lot of, um, as this has been doing the rounds on social media, my lovely partner's nine months pregnant. She's basically ready to pop in the hey. next couple of days. And uh, yeah, she is. Um, but yeah, we thought we'd do a kid and maybe a small goat. <laughs> well, it's, right. a lot more, it's a lot more tasteful than what I'm imagining other people are drawing with their <laughs> GPS art. There's, there's plenty of that done, believe me. <laughs> Thanks, Ben. Good on you, buddy. Good on you, mate. Cheers, guys.